All right. Welcome, everyone. Hi. My name is Julie Geigel, and I help men and women on a spiritual journey find inner peace and live the happiest version of themselves. So welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uh, it is Tuesday, Tuesday at 10 o'clock, and today I have three exciting things for you. First of all, we're going to talk about where is your energy best spent for this week, and then we're going to move into a beautiful blessed healing and the mantra that we're going to be using today, uh, last week we did the Malabeads, Malabeads, <laughs> and um, the, the Malabeads. I am so in love with the Malabeads. Okay, so the idea is that uh, you chant a mantra for 108 times, and it just it shifts the vibration, raises the vibration, clears out energy, and allows God to work through you. And so we'll be doing that today. Uh, today we'll be focusing on world peace. And the mantra we'll be using is Om Shanti Om. So we hope you stay tuned for that. All of you prayer warriors that have shown up here for uh, to help with uh, world peace. And then the last thing we'll do to follow up is a free psychic reading. So if I have not read for you recently in the last three months of it might be your lucky day <laughs> to get a free psychic reading. So stay tuned for the end for that. All right, all right. So if you're just jumping in, we'd love to know who you are and where you're from. So please uh, give us a big shout out, a big hello this morning so we know you're with us. And if you're coming back around to watching the replay, just hit hashtag replay. And we always love to send special blessings to our new fans, our new followers. So be sure to um, throw new in the comments below. And if you are a fan, I'd love if you could uh, post fan. That kind of helps me keep track of everybody. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Where's your energy best spent this week? And I know for myself... There's been a lot of tragedy uh, this past week, personally, and uh, it's just been uh, super tough, uh, super difficult, and a lot of tragedy like in our town, um, and I'm not going to go into everything because there's really no value in that. Uh, the reason I bring it up is because it's uh, diff it's been difficult, um, and so... Breath. Um, but yeah, and as an empath, and I just want to speak to this because I know if you're here today, you're an empath. You are a light worker, most definitely, because that's who I attract. I am a magnet for the light workers and, and helping the light workers stay grounded uh, because the energy here is crazy. The brighter your light, the darker the darkness. And that truth is just evident every day of my life. Uh, so don't get knocked down and, you know, keep, keep coming, keep standing up, keep getting up, <laughs> keep getting up. God is shining his light through you. And so today is a uh, real special, you know, for me to be able to send blessings of love, peace and uh, light to the world, to my family, to my community. And um, we're talking about where's your energy best spent. So this week, your energy is best spent really taking the time to purposefully put your family first. And it is just so spot on uh, for me personally, because like I said, there's just a lot of tragedy, a lot of um, difficult things that people I know are personally know are experiencing and in our community. So it really just makes us take pause, you know, when uh, awful things are happening around you, what happens? What happens to you? What do you do when you hear of tragedy around you? And I know for me, the first thing I do is I reach out to my kids and I'm like, okay, everybody, I just want you to know today that I love you. I love you. And I am here. I'm here for you. And so 
it makes me want to reach out and connect to my family because that's really what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> it's not about how much money you make. It's not about how many things that you did or didn't do. It's about that beautiful connection that you had with your family and with your friends, with the people, with loved ones. And so that's the first thing I do. I reach out to my family. I keep them close to me. I let them know every day that I love them. And then I go deeper. I go deeper into my faith. I go deeper into my conversation with God. And I pour my heart out and I, I just say, God, I need you to work through me today. And I need to, to allow your love uh, to remind me that there is goodness in the world and that um, we, there's purpose. There's goodness and there is purpose. And so put your family first. <laughs> That's where your energy is best spent this week. And a really important thing, too, is, you know, we can think that, we can say that, but what are you doing to make that happen? You know, that's the other piece uh, today that I want to really address is what are you doing to make that happen? Uh, so do you schedule a weekly call with your mom? Um, are you getting together once a month with your girlfriends for lunch? What does that look like in your life? Are you showing up? for your friends? Are you showing up for your family? And how can you show up more in their lives and, and be a greater blessing or, or be there, be there for them? Uh, so be purpose, be purposeful, uh, be purposeful in how you are creating family first in your life. Uh, so this is uh, just such a beautiful time of the year because November is traditionally about Thanksgiving and gratitude. What are you grateful for? And, you know, just kind of circling back around and saying, okay, you know, have I been really busy and, and I haven't been present with my family, with my friends? Okay, uh, November is a time to... To pause, to take pause, to take notice of the good in your life, and to let the people around you know how much they're loved. <clears throat> and so, the second piece, there's always uh, three pieces to where your energy is best spent this week. So, this is your weekly energy forecast. Your energy uh, is best spent this week paying particular attention to the boundaries you have with people. And today I really want to talk about the boundaries you have with your children. So if you don't have children in your life, if you aren't connected with uh, your friend's children or children in the community, uh, then you're going to want to take this message and expand it into just your relationships in general. But this week, the energy this week is supporting you in standing in your power and being firm in your relationships with your kids. So are they running you over? Are you giving in too much to them? This is not helping them. Honestly, it's not. The firmer you are in your resolve, the more they will benefit and grow into strong, resilient people, adults. So take, examine, examine your relationship with your children and who in your life is taking advantage of you? Who in your life is, uh, are you, you're just, uh, you give in to them because they, it's too much to stand up to them. Okay, stop, <laughs> stop doing that. Um, you're not helping them and it's hurting you. So take the bull by the horns and uh, again, be purposeful in your boundaries, specifically your boundaries with your children. Don't let them talk to you like that. Don't let them run over you like that. Um, <clears throat> be firm in your resolve. And God is with you. Ask God to help you if you're having a hard time. Absolutely. Okay, and your spiritual team, because they are wanting to help you always. So the third piece we want to talk about today is trust. <clears throat> trust. So, again, we're talking about where is your energy best spent this week. 
This is our weekly energy forecast, our weekly update. Uh, and it's channeled. I channel this um, with Metatron, with my spiritual team. So I'm excited to share this with you. Trust. So with this piece, there's somebody in your life that is a little bit on the shady side. Uh, so you might get an uncomfortable feeling when you're around them, or you maybe get upset, or you might feel exhausted after you've been with them. So you really want to let go of people and relationships that aren't in alignment with your heart, that aren't in alignment with your soul. It's okay. You don't have to be friends with everybody. And pay attention to that inner voice that little red flag that's saying, you know what, something's not quite right here. I'm not sure what it is, um, but I know it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good in my heart, uh, and it's okay to let that go. So stop trying so hard uh, to make things work with people who are not meant to be in your life. Again, you don't have to be friends with everybody. And when I, I know, now that I'm older... I just, I really understand the value in that uh, because before when I was younger, it was like, you know, wanting to please everybody and wanting to, um, you know, have that connection with everybody. But as I get older, I've really, you know, refined the people that are around me. And it's, it's like you don't just get a spot at the table because you showed up, <laughs> you know, you don't. Um, you have to earn that. And, and if there are things that are sticky and I'm not getting that um, fuzzy, warm feeling, uh, then you know what? You might not get a spot at the table anymore. You might have to go to somebody else's table. And that's okay. That is perfectly okay. So align yourself with people you trust. Align yourself with um, people that aren't sucking the life out of you. And uh, be okay with that. Be okay with not being everybody's friend. Absolutely. So again, be on the lookout for somebody in your life this week. Um, particularly, I'm seeing that their colors are really going to show through. And then you can just cut that cord. Done is done. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's move into our beautiful uh, blessed healing. All my prayer warriors are here. So if you have come to help us pray this morning for world peace, maybe peace in your community, maybe you have a loved one or friend or yourself who needs special healing today, we are here for you. So go ahead and um, drop me some prayer hands in the, emo in the news feed below, maybe an angel. If you're new here, uh, hit hashtag new. If you're coming in on the replay, hit hashtag replay. We come back around and we shine blessings on everybody who shows up. So this is our prayer segment. Go ahead and tell us, how can we pray for you today? Is someone popping in your mind that needs prayers? Please be sure to put their name down. Maybe whatever issue that we can pray for them for. Whatever. Uh, we love to show up for you every single day, every single day. And we all know the world needs prayer right now. So I have our lovely crystal bed rolling for you, just for you. And you have been receiving a beautiful, blessed chakra healing. So all of your chakras in your body are being cleansed, cleared, released, and realigned to your highest good, creating this beautiful bubble of peace, this beautiful bubble of joy. All right, so I got my mala beads. If you've got mala beads, that's awesome because we're going to do some chanting right now. And the chant that I've chosen for this week is Om Shanti Om. So let me just give you a little one on one on the mantra here. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so Om <laughs> is the sound of the whole cosmic manifestation. Uh, and we could just chant Om in and of itself, it's quite powerful. Uh, but I wanted to add Shante. Like I said, you know, there's been a lot of really intense things happening around me uh, this week in the last seven days. It's like 
really unbelievable, literally unbelievable. Um, so I really wanted to have that component of peace today. So Shanti means peace. Um, it's peace for all humankind, for all living and non-living things. It's peace for the whole universe. Uh, peace for each and everything in this whole cosmic manifestation. Don't you love that? Okay, so we're going to chant Om Shanti Om 108 times. So I'm going to have you, we'll start with our um, tincture bells. Oh yeah. Here we go. Are you ready? I can feel everybody's spiritual team moving in. I can feel the intensity of the energy raising. They're all really excited that you're here. I just wanted to say that. Um, here we go. We're going to try that again. Om Shanti, Om, 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 Om Shanti, Om. Om Shanti Om 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 
Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Om Om Shante Feel the peace and the love of God move through your very being, your soul, your spirit. Feel this peace, this love of God move through each and every person you are connected to as it expands and spreads out into your community, into your state, into the whole world, feeling a beautiful, profound, incredible peace. Oh, blessed be, <laughs> blessed be, oh yes. Wow, so go ahead and shake your hands. Oh, disconnect from that awesome energy. Let me know how that felt for you. Um, wow, so much. So much was happening. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so everybody, everybody's teams came in. Metatron. I mean, I, my whole body is vibrating, literally. My whole body is vibrating. And um, 
at the about the middle I was seeing like for each of us you know this beautiful healing so whatever you needed healing with I just saw this beautiful beam of light being shined on that area of your body and then um, like I said I've had like five really horrific tragedies that I've been uh, aware of um, and each of those incidences I could just feel this beautiful beam of green healing light um, pouring blessings on each person that was affected with that tragedy with that experience it was just so beautiful and then at the end um, well Archangel Raphael came in about halfway through I could really he was here you know and when I went live <laughs> um, but about halfway through, I could really feel his presence. He's the healing angel, Archangel um, Raphael. And then toward the end, when my voice started to get softer, um, then um, what I was seeing were the angels weeping. And just the tears, and as the angels wept, it um, cleansed the earth. So their tears came down to wash away the pain and to heal, to bring a beautiful, blessed healing to everyone. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, um, light workers, uh, light warriors, prayer warriors. Thank you, everyone, for showing up this morning for this beautiful prayer, this beautiful blessing. I hope you felt this incredible energy as strongly as I did. Um, and I hope, you know, you feel led to share this. If you feel led to share this, please uh, do share this with your tribe, share this with your Facebook family, and let's just spread this beautiful peace, this beautiful light, because I know, I know people need it right now, uh, most definitely. All right, again, uh, if you are new here, please hit new in the feed. If you are coming around and watching the replay, I'd love feedback. I mean, um, any anything you experienced with that uh, chanting, how can we pray for you? If you're watching the replay, be sure to drop that in our uh, feed. If you uh, need help with anything, we're here. I come back around always and can connect and tune in with everybody on this feed. If you're a fan, I'd love to know if you've been with me before, if you're following us, um, if you're one of uh, a light worker like we are. And if you're here, you are. So <laughs> if there's any question, uh, don't question. There are no doubts. If you're here, you are. Absolutely. Uh, God needs your light and you're being guided. And uh, in every step you take uh, to be the light the world needs right now. Okay, we're ready. Uh, ready for a psychic reading here. Who's my lucky winner? And let me get my notes here. Okay, I have my notes. And uh, let's take a look at my uh, feed because you know I can never see it. And then one time I hit um, <laughs> refresh and I lost everybody. It was like crap. All right, so let me just jump on my phone. And um, I'm gonna try to find, <laughs> try to find me. Oh, we gotta love, gotta love how it all works, right? Okay. Oh, and don't forget, I'm teaching a Reiki masterclass. Uh, if you are inclined to join us, we still have a couple spots. It's online or in person, and um, we would love to see you absolutely it's friday this friday so um be sure to private message me if you're interested so we can get you um sit all set for that all right we are picking a lucky winner for the free psychic reading and we're gonna take a look at our news feed here to choose that winner today and of course everything is taking a long time to load here all right Let's see, I see um, Kayla Garfield. She's brand new, I believe. Kayla, yes, hands up for Kayla. All right, <laughs> Kayla, let me see. I'm gonna pick up, for some reason, I'm being drawn to the color deck for you today, Kayla. Uh, so let's grab that color deck quickly. 
All right, I'm going to shuffle the color deck for you here, Kayla, and we're just going to see what the message, what the color, what your color is for the week. Yay! All right, well, well of course, <laughs> can you guess what your color is? <laughs> Love how spirit works. Um, your color for this week is green, of course, and green is the a beautiful healing color, and it's the color of the heart, um, so it cleanses the heart. So um, the message on here is revitalizing your nervous system. So what I'm seeing for you, Kayla, is that uh, there's been... I mean, when I look at your energy, I'm seeing a lot of anxiety and uh, very scattered uh, uh, and it just it's all over the place. So what uh, this beautiful color, uh, so I want you to focus on the color of green this week. So maybe buy yourself a green plant or purposefully being wearing green um, or buy yourself a beautiful green necklace. Or if you've got something green, make sure you wear it every single day. And close to your heart is kind of what I'm hearing too. So if you've got like a small green stone, um, uh, put it, <laughs> this might sound crazy, but my mother actually taught me this, put it in your bra, close to your heart is what I keep seeing. Uh, so what this color is going to do for you, Kayla, is it's going to calm your energy field. It's going to rebalance and realign, but it's going to bring a beautiful healing to your heart and bring you back into alignment with your soul. Uh, so things uh, just feel a little bit scattered right now. All right, and Kayla's saying, yes, awesome, awesome. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Hope you enjoyed that uh, quick message, Kayla. Thanks so much for stopping by here today. Uh, we love, love, love to have uh, new people join our tribe. And if you haven't joined our tribe, we've got a private Facebook group, Archangel Metatron's Tribe. Uh, we'd love to see you over there as well. Okay, everyone. Uh, Oh, almost forgot. We have a new meditation this month. I have a free meditation posted on our website. Uh, give me a second to get our blog up and rolling, so probably in a couple hours. Uh, but our meditation, our free meditation for November is called Forest and Stream, which is perfect for you, Kayla. You absolutely need this meditation. But the forest and stream meditation uh, is designed to help ground your energy for this month of November. It's designed to help you get back in touch with nature and the healing power that nature has for you. So we hope you uh, drop by our website at juliegeigel.com. I will have that posted in our blog. Uh, so I do a blog on our beautiful message today, and then I post that free meditation in there for everybody. So when I have it posted, I'll come back here and drop the link in our news feed. Uh, so no worries. I'll let you know when I get that posted. All right, everyone. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mwah!